hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with an anime movie reaction i'm not sure if this can be considered as a movie but in my anime list this is like you know it's categorized under movie but it is like it has three episodes with 21 minutes like you know normal anime episodes uh this is called burn the witch now uh it's a recent show i think it came out in 2020 a very recent kind of and uh, like i i'm quite interested in it i, I kind of like you know watched read the summary and all and I, I got a little bit interested in it so i'm going to check this out what this is about i have like you know all the only thing that i got was the summary otherwise i have no idea how this is what it is kind of about i've kind of like a little bit of uh understanding what's going on uh from the summary but that's basically it so let's check this out it has three episodes and i'm going to do the three episodes one by one and i'm going to end an episode talk a little bit about it then start another episode and then talk a little bit about it i'll kind of go it go like this so yeah let's see what this is about this is burn the witch and let's get started so as usual i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. <clears throat> go. What the? Okay. Nini. Whoa, is she a celebrate or something? PJ. Whoa. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> Insane flash, yeah! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! It's like a... Something's flat. My god! If... Work on fools. I'd rather be the one casting the spell. Wow, this is really whoa, interesting. <laughs> it's it's a flying deer. Whoa. God, what the? Bloom, oh my god. Whoa, what the hell? It's like a manticore. Is that what they're called? I think so. <laughs> Grab the horn. Oh! Oh, sh so sh uh, okay. Budbug. Okay, Budbug. They're called that. <laughs> so it's kind of like a... Like a different world. Nini. Nini Spank. Call. Nini-chan. No way. <laughs> Need a mythical uh, what? Hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. 
brought harm to humans. Cannot see the dragon. Front London. Reverse London. Natural dragon. Oh, people live here. Okay. Okay. Damn, this is giving me huge Harry Potter vibes. <laughs> Nini chan. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. She's a celebrity in, in that, okay. <laughs> Achievement. Hey, did, did because she helped or something? <laughs> Yeah, did, because she saved. Yeah, there you go. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? What the dark dragon? Someone's hanging on Banker. Human dragon. Her name is Osushi? <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, she didn't. <laughs> Senior at school. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we won't do the job if there's nothing for us. Well, obviously, like, it's... Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Nice. That's it. Let's go. Yeah, we have to do our job now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Niha. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Doing it for society. <laughs> wow. Osuchi is not stopping. Yeah, you're right. In a way. <laughs> you like bump into him or something. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It became small. 
Oh, sushi became small. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Dragon contract law. Oh my god, she's still struggling. Oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, so cute that dog. Dog. It's kind of a dog in a way. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. This will go out of there. Okay. No. Run the test. Oh. What? That's a weird way to... Yeah. Hundred years of pre... Death. Yeah, he did not touch. So that's kind of like a brutal thing because like if it's like an accident like this like it's, it's not the that person's fault <laughs> hmm <laughs> Oh. Where? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Try to bark like what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Whoa! Oh! Okay. Oh! Boy, done ball. Oh, <laughs> oh, is that it? Wow, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in case. Okay, protocols, as they say. Oh my god, this place is completely destroyed. Oh, yeah, okay, dragon insurance. Whoa, what happened? Whoa! Whoa, what happened? What happened? Whoa, 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 what's happening? Why did the face got sliced off? Oh my god, it's like some horror zombie game or something. Lights out. Whoa! Oh no. Oh 
Oh god. Whoa. Dragon blockade. Dark dragon. Oh wow. Wow, oh my god, they have everything like under control and all like this happened before that means a lot of times Oh my god Hmm Wingbind has un situation under the control. Oh. Oh. Are they going to? Are, are you ever allowed to do that? Like, take things on your own hands? Like, won't they be punished or something? I don't know. Take dragons to pasture and harvest them. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually following him. They kind of said that he's a dragon clad, so that's why. Um, yeah. Rainy wheel. Whoa. Oh! Uh, time to turn back, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Gatling crown. Wow. <laughs> Wing by Supreme Power, the top ones. <laughs> Absent. Wolfie Wolf can Simply ignored Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, it's like, it gave me a huge deal. Oh, that's the end? Oh, it's the first episode, okay. Wow, I was not expecting something like this. This is like a full-blown, um, we call it like fantastical thing, like, and I can understand like after watching the first episode that this has a quite a great foundation um, What I kind of noticed from this first episode is that okay, let me just hear the song first it's kind of nice song
Wow. Okay, so these three are like the main characters, I'm guessing. Balgo, uh, Nin Nini, what that was her name? And the other girl. Okay, that's the end. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, there's something else. Okay. Oh, it's that girl we saw. Uh, you know, in the in the uh, front word. Okay. All right. Oh, as I was saying. So you know, like what I noticed that this this one episode kind of showed us is this this has a solid foundation you know there are like you know i kind of see that there are like two types of animes where one type of anime is where like you know everything starts and it actually starts to build this foundation as episodes go on you know like they start world building and everything and like you know everything kind of goes step by step by step and when there's like a hundred episodes or something at that moment we actually like actually see that oh my god this is such a huge like you know thing and like you know it's like immense world building immense like you know what do you call it a lot of things a lot of uh like you know uh what can i say like uh importance given to the backgrounds and surroundings like there's like a huge political system there's uh uh you know like a lot of rules regulations a full like you know as they say the world building kind of grows up as the episodes go on this is like one type of anime Another type of anime is where from the first episode we actually realize that the world building foundation is there. You know, there's a huge world and there's a lot of things that we don't know. We only get introduced to it and the characters who are in that world have been like you know a part of that world for a long time. That's why they're like accustomed to everything. And we as newcomers we feel like oh my god there's so much so many things there's so many things happening. Uh these types there's like these type of shows as well this anime is the example of the latter one you know like it has a big foundation and a lot of world being building that has already that is already there as the episodes will go on they will kind of elaborate it and show us everything step by step that's basically it as we can see like as soon as we get into this huge like you know new world this reverse london there's a lot of things a lot of regulations a lot of what do you say the like laws that are going on as, as they said like you know that guy who uh, did not come into contact with it, it like they said like, something like if you got into contact with it you'll have to go to prison or you'll die or something like that and all these things like you know like that has some other rules and regulations in, in this background and a lot of other things like there are stuff that are there you know from the first episode and as the episodes will go on they'll kind of explain it to us bit by bit this is that example and um like you know <clears throat> i think like uh both of it and both of the those two things that i said like you know an anime which kind of explains it step by step and an anime which already has everything and as time goes on it kind of elaborates on it both of it has its own charm and uh, this type of anime has an unusual charm of like you feel like oh my god something huge is happening you know like from the first episode you feel like that the the, the previous uh, thing that i said that that explains things bit by bit like everything grows bit by bit those animes are like starts with something very small but kind of becomes huge that in itself has a like you know other type of charm where you actually feel like after going through 100 or like you know 120 episodes you actually feel like oh my god like where where we were and now look at where, where we are now you know that's the type of feeling that you get from that type of anime this type of anime you get a feeling like oh my god there's so much things and there's so much thing that's that, uh, like you know that it has uh, so much potential it is going to like you know explain it bit by bit and everything and like you know that's a different type of enjoyment and uh, yeah anyways um that's like you know that's the thing that i kind of got from this first episode another thing that i should mention here is the animation is beautiful it's amazing like um just a sec uh <clears throat> Which studio did this? Um, this is done by Studio Colorido. 
Oh. Oh, okay. This did Penguin Highway as well. I I watched Penguin Highway. It's a fantastic show with amazing animation. And Nakita uh, Watashi wa Neko wo Kaburu. This one I did not see. I I plan on watching this on one of the like you know they are reacting to this later on. Okay, yeah. These are these are some amazing animation stuff that they did. Okay, that's why. Okay, it it has a really great feeling. Like you know the animation is very good. I love it. And okay, so the thing that we got from the first episode is there's like two parts. There's a frontal London and the reverse London, I think. Yeah, this girl, uh, her name was what N Nini or what was her name? Uh, Nini, yeah, Nini, Nini. This girl, Nini. He, uh, she, she is, I think, a celebrity in in the real world uh, in the frontal London, and like you know, like she's kind of like tired of everything, like all the paparazzi and all and uh she in this this world she's very animated very like you know uh what can i say you know like has a friend noel i think that was the name yeah noel and noel is actually the <laughs> like it's like uh nini is actually noel's senpai which like you know looking at them which really does not give that impression like i like, you know, if, 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 like, you know, looking at their personality and everything, I would expect Noel to be the senpai, but, you know, <laughs> anyways, and, uh, yeah, they are, like, witches, I'm guessing, you know, and they, as I said, like, you know, they have the, uh, what do you call it, the responsibility of taking care of these type of mythical things, and, like, like, they, like, they, the witches, they have some kind of job of going, uh, like, you know, harvesting the dragons, I think, like, the thing that uh, Noel was doing in the beginning, and uh like that was their actually job but like nini wants to join the sabers which i'm guessing is um like you know it's an organization which kind of does these type of things like you know fighting dragons and stuff something like that and she's kind of pissed at that everything like, you know that they do kind of kind of like you know the the all the other organization the sabers i'm guessing they take the credit or something like that i'm not sure I think she, she's kind of pissed at that. And then there's this other person here. His name is Balgo. Yeah, Balgo. And he is a dragon clad, I think that they called him. And that's why dragons are attracted to him. And uh, the dragons are kind of, uh, in a way, a little unusual. They can be called dragon in a way. There are a few of them which can kind of look like dragons. But the, the thing that uh, Balgo was, you know, uh, Osushi-chan that that thing i think that's a girl i'm not sure but anyways you know like he or she like you know looks like a dog a little dog <laughs> with wings okay, like you know <laughs> anyways i'm not sure but uh, yeah and then there's this weird type of a, a law which says that if you have come into contact with a dragon you're going to 100 years in j uh, you know prison and other, otherwise you're going to die like what would happen if it's like an accident like this you know the person did not make any for like 100 years of prison i think that's a, a lot of you know kind of like brutal in a way or killing the person i don't know it's like a weird weird type of a what do you call it um weird type of uh, law i know i'm not sure but yeah i'm guessing something bad must have happened if you come into contact with the dragons or something i'm not sure but yeah and then there's this another thing which like the dragon became a dark dragon I, i'm not sure what happened there the head kind of sliced off because uh, noel basically stunned the dragon but the head sliced off and it started becoming like a zombie dragon or something you know and they're all used to it because like you know from, with one phone call you like, know everything kind of went into lockdown it's like everything was ready there's like you know people kind of evacuating and all so yeah that's another thing. Okay, and then we saw a few of the upper, I'm guessing like, you know, people who are uh, in charge of everything, them saying that they cannot ignore Balgo anymore. Like they want to, you know, capture him or kill him or something like that. And they're going to do that. So yeah, that was basically the first episode. It's really like, you know, like, you know, it's kind of easy to understand, nothing much, like, you know, nothing confusing. Uh, very easy to un understand, like easy explanations, nice uh, animations, good soundtrack, uh, quite an interesting story. And it has a great foundation. And uh, let's see what the second episode brings. So that was the first episode of Burn the Witch. 
now we're going to start the second episode and uh, yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started with this episode so this is episode number two here's a countdown three two one go ah oh, god okay it's the same girl isn't it? no so someone else new member cg character viewman What? Wow, they're like, yeah. Oh, it's the same girl, isn't it? Or maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, nah, it's the same girl, I think. She makes me special, Gilly suit. <laughs> Illegally <drew. laughs> No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, obviously. Oh! Wow! Oh my god! Okay, there she is! <laughs> Additional request. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Frog. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even listening. Oh wow. She's gonna throw you off now. <laughs> She's gonna kick you off the broom now. Oh, sorry, not broom, dragon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fake. <laughs> wow, oh my god, this guy's imagination is... <laughs> Dragon... Dragon instinct or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> um, there you go. I think that's a dragon or Oh. Oh. But who? Yeah, like wh why are like thinking that it is a terrorism? It might be dragons. Points. <laughs> Wow, wow, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> okay, let's see what's the real is the yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> He <laughs> did <laughs> Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh no, it's that person. Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh! She didn't know that he, she's also here. Whoa, did she really do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait. Oh, the dragon. Ellie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa. Yeah, she's here. Noel is here. Whoa, what's happening? Whoa! Whoa, this girl is crazy! Wow, this is crazy! This is like... Oh. <laughs> Say that in the beginning! What the hell? Well, she's a Yandere basically, kind of. Whoa! Wait, someone's on top? 
Oh, it's that guy. Why the hell are you attacking her? What the hell? Is Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Junior. Mm, yeah, stroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, but he's bang knife. Yeah. Oh wow, great. Report. That's only it. <laughs> yeah, he he said for Oh no. Oh boy, he's in trouble. Yeah, he's going to single him out like- Oh god. <sighs> yeah, that's going to single him out. <coughs> what? Wow. Also, that's... Oh, God. Wow. Grace, coming. Punitive dragon is going but oh wow so that's why you're doing that oh great i thought he just wanted oh boy wow this guy is yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just caught them by surprise. I'm sure they're, they're strong enough to handle him. I hope so. I don't know. Oh, wow. That's nice for you. Okay. <laughs> That's too cocky. Let's see if he really is. <laughs> they're going away. <laughs> wow, too late. Run or fly, whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. 
The <laughs> dog, look at the dogs. <laughs> wow, he's so chill. Yeah, there's still one person left. Oh, oh really? Oh, he brought her here. Oh, okay. All right. What's happened? Okay, okay. So he, she didn't even know it herself. She's a watcher. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Teamwork, there you go. Yeah. Oh boy. You'll you'll die if if he if she lets go. Yeah. Oh yeah, a dragon is also there. Okay. Oh boy! Oh my god, this is drag- Oh wow! That's a- Yeah, that's a genuine dragon look looking dragon. Oh boy. Yeah, your dragon will be fine, I think so. <laughs> oh my god Ugh. Okay Look Boy Hmm. Oh, so that was okay. Yeah, that was makeup uh, in the previous. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Because she has huge mana, she was able to. She was able to see. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my God. He didn't go to the bathroom. Mm. 
Oh, that was the scene, okay. It's kind of like a bait in a way. Oh yeah, he's here. God. Oh, that's the end. Wow. Okay. Okay, so that was episode two and so <clears throat> so a few things we got to know here is number one is like dragons are always uh, like also i'm guessing there are a few of them like you know stray dragons i'm guessing who get you know like who are kind of in the front of london and usually people are unable to see them and i'm guessing the witches kind of after tracking them bring them to the other like you know the uh, reverse London. I'm not sure. It's just a guess. But sometimes, like you know, uh, like in weird exceptions, just like in this episode, um, what was her name? I forgot. Um, the pink-haired girl. She, people like her who are like really exceptional, like exceptions, like completely. As I said, like I think he said something like Watcher or something, who have huge mana. They are able to see these type of fantastical beings even in front of London, and that's like you know like through like you know coincidence she was able to uh, find the dragon and started taking care of her or something and uh, right that's the end uh, started taking care of her and uh, <clears throat> like now there's one thing I'm quite I'm not sure about like. Uh, oh, I think they kind of answered that question. I was thinking like they said something like, you know, like if humans come into contact with dragons and they are going to be, um, uh, you know, they're going to be in prison and like, you know, or killed, all that kind of things. And I'm guessing that also is um, valid for people in the front London, I'm guessing, because uh, the first thing that Nini said is that uh, do you know that you get going to get into huge trouble if uh, people find out that you have come in contact with the dragon and uh, uh, I think like you know it's kind of similar to the frontal London as well uh, usually people are do not you know, are, are unable to see them because they have low mana but exceptions like her are probably able to see the dragons and stuff anyways and um, yeah and <clears throat> Another thing we got to know here is like so basically in front of London and in the reverse London They're like similar type of structures. They said something about the uh, the What was the name the? The realist the realist. Yeah, that was the name of the building uh, the tabloid uh, thing that was happening You know that like uh, wrote those type of things about Nini and uh, She said something about that was the uh, Realist of the front of London. This is the realist of the reverse London and Macy, because she did not know much about these type of things, she thought that okay, this realist building is also the same realist people who uh, badmouthed Nini, and that's why she came and kind of like you know uh, made an explosion here. So that like you know, it was, she was taken advantage by Bruno, and uh, yeah, like. And also, the, we got to see how this person here, Bruno, is definitely strong. Obviously, he's one of the top people. But 
Yeah, uh, he has no morals. <laughs> he really has no morals. Staying, staying stuff like, oh, like, you know, when the bounty comes in, I'm going to catch him. I'm going to get, like, you know, recognition. And also at the same time, I'm going to uh, capture Macy and her dragon as well. And yeah, all these kind of things. So, ha. Huh. And like, you know, like he, he also makes this whole thing up that, yeah, he, uh, like, you know, uh, what was her name? Uh, Balgo. Yeah, Balgo is the person who is the reason why this the realist got attacked, which, you know, which is basically like making up, a, you know, what do you call it? A crime and pinning it on Balgo. That's basically what he's doing. He brought Macy, manipulated her, brought her here, uh, used them to actually make it, like, you know, like make the explosion and it's going to pin the, pin the blame on Balgo and then like you know capture him going to get the bounty and at the same time he also plans probably plans on capturing Macy and the dragon as well so wow <laughs> great personality <laughs> boy and uh, yeah it's kind of messed up and I'm not sure what's going to happen uh, I'm sure this guy is immensely strong a lot stronger than Nini or Noel. So yeah, let's wait and see what happens. So yeah, and <laughs> and Balgo is very chill. I can like kind of see that he he really doesn't even think about anything. Like <laughs> like he is his uh life is in danger, but he doesn't even care. He's like, oh my god, I'm with Noel. <laughs> Noel Noel Chan helped me. <laughs> kind of like that. He was but uh, yeah <clears throat> and we also got a little bit of uh, macy's story how what how she was like you know feeling like she like you know like she was tired of the whole thing of people not actually looking at her the way she is you know she had to like you know uh what do you call it put up a persona in front of everyone like you know even the uh <clears throat> like, you know as she said that i had to like you know dress up put on makeup and act like as in a certain persona and you know like this thing she was not comfortable in but she said something like i i still try to do it because uh you know like uh, nini you were with me but then after finding i think the her dragon's name was ellie or something like that ellie you know, after after finding her uh macy <coughs> macy i'm guessing after that macy decided to you know go out like you know what do you call it uh, leave the group and that made up all like you know the the whole rumors thing and happening like you know the the realist came and started nagging um nini and nini like you know got mad at that and they are kind of uh like you know what do you call it the kind of um embellishing i think that's the word yeah you know, the fact and saying that oh like nini is the actual reason why macy left stuff like that uh, like you know as you know like gossip as, as it happens in these type of uh stuff in these type of uh, celebrity stuff like you know the paparazzi uh, goes around takes some like you know pictures videos and stuff and they kind of you know uh embellish the fact i think that's a word embellish remind me Mm, no um, <laughs> I can't remember the word like you know like I'm, I'm trying to say that like you know they kind of include false information like you know twist it into their own liking and spread it into the uh, world and like you know like this is why these type of rumors kind of like begin and very small things they kind of uh you know, kind of make stuff up and make it a huge deal and like you know that's how like this type of things work the media paparazzi all these things like and especially in celebrity stuff so that's what basically happened here and uh like, you know she got mad macy got mad and decided to <laughs> like you know teach the realists a lesson a lesson unfortunately she actually did not realize that the realist that she attacked was actually the realist of the reverse london and all that stuff so yeah but anyways okay that was episode number um, two and let's start with episode number 
three. This is the final episode, I think. Yeah. And uh, let's see how this ends. So yeah, guys, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync into whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <clears throat> Oh boy. Ha, <laughs> he's here. All right. We still don't know how much strong they are. If a lion could speak, we could not. What? Oh yeah. Punitive dragon. Oh boy. <laughs> it's wow, he he's realizing that now. <laughs> wow. Hopefully that works. Yeah, may see. I think. Oh, she. Ellie, I think that was her name. Ellie, that's here. Wow. Boy. Great. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. It's impressive, but he's still strong, a lot stronger, I think. I'm not sure, let's see. I don't think that will be enough. Whoa, it's transforming. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, look at that. So the moonlight makes it stronger or something? Wow, okay, now she looks really strong. It's like a little crown as well. My god, look at it. Yeah. Some kind of royal dragon or something? What? Six talents. Oh. Mayhem. Seven dragons named after fairy tales. Oh. Snow White, a red dress. <laughs> 
Cinderella, oh my god. Oh, that's why, okay. Everything the dust touches? Whoa! That's overpowered. That's not light, that's an explosion. This guy pisses me off. Hypothetical enemies of mankind. No, <laughs> damn, that's a cool mask. Oh my god, the mask moves. What? How? <laughs> wow. Three. The mask move really <laughs> All right. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Oh no, the 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 thing is yeah, the thing is, move! Oh boy. They could have just like waited for, uh, uh, but uh, oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Ah! Whoa! My god! Wow! not moving that's one thing obviously you're trying to kill Balgo so <laughs> oh. yeah Break her crown like horns. Yeah. Into the inks. Yeah. Okay. It's just sitting around, like doing nothing. Oh, there you go. I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Supernal Jail Whoa Oh damn that's cool So he uses spray paint
Wow. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> you missed it by a long shot. Oh, nothing happened. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Way too OP. <laughs> it's bleeding, damn. Wait, it's going somewhere. Oh no. Oh god, this is a problem. Is it coming for Macy? I think so. <laughs> Mace is here, I think so. Yeah. That, that's what I was saying. Even if there is, I don't think... Oh boy. I don't think Bruno's going to listen. Her eyes, uh, Ellie's eyes, kind of is red now. Boy, Real reason. It wasn't your own doing. Oh boy. Yeah, that's okay. That's a really. No, that's a fake thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Wait, is that supposed to be a fake thing? Um, is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Ah, it sat down again. Oh, the, the, the eyes, it, it went back. Is it? No. Oh my God. Got one of them. One of the crowns. Whoa, who is this? Is, this is not... <laughs> Whoa! 
Damn, this guy's OP. <laughs> And he goes on his merry way. Damn. Well, obviously. Five. Actually, it was you, but still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you have it. Oh no, <laughs> is she going to join or something? <laughs> oh my god wow so she's under your okay like nini is going to take care of her and bruno is already all yeah balgo is always <laughs> what happened to balgo yeah Motion to release. Oh, according to the investigation. Oh, really? Two months ago, I left my dog. Oh. Exterminating all the Marians. So that's the actual goal here. Character Squire. So it's face. Hmm. Whoa, what's that? What the? Oh, <laughs> it was him. <laughs> Son of a hero. <laughs> Um, um, what's happening? Okay. Wait. Ooh, it was <laughs> So Society West Branch. Whoa! Is this also she again? No, 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 it's... <laughs> okay, I remember from the first episode, like, they said something like, when does Osushi kind of, like, you know, become that thing? I think one was danger, another was, um, something, I, I'm going to check that out again. 
So that. <laughs> oh God. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. It ended in a good way. So, I'm guessing this is a manga. I think I'm not sure. I think so. All right. That's the end, I think. Ah, that's the end. All right. Okay, that was this episode. This is the third episode. Okay, one thing I should, uh, I'm going to check out. Like when they uh, said like the whole thing with uh, Osushi. Just a sec. Mm. When they kind of explain why Osushi does stuff like that just a sec okay just a sec okay uh okay did osushi really grow wings without doing anything triggering it okay when you uh just a sec When you try to bark like Osushi, when you sneeze, when you start cracking up, or when you're in danger. <laughs> okay. So, all right, I remember, like, you know, so that happened. You know, the. <laughs> The whole thing that Sushi, oh, Sushi was saying in the first, uh, you know, in the in the first episode, similar thing happened in this episode as well, and <laughs> she actually got mad by the end of it. I'm kind of okay. Just a sec. Um, I'm kind of a little bit confused in the end. What actually happened? You know, the whole thing with Osushi. I understood all the other things. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the um. You know what? <laughs> like, uh, when Osushi, like, you know, started growing wings and, like, you know, started flying around, and uh, Noel got mad at her, and that kind of that uh, section. Anyways, okay. Um. All right. So this was the third episode. Uh, first of all, we got a few new, new information. What, which was number one was that there is this Marhen. They said, I think these are like the legendary dragons, something like that. Uh, and they're very strong and Cinderella was one of them and from the looks of it I think their goal is the you know the top you know, the, the top people's goals are that they have to defeat all of them and that's why um, Bruno said that we will keep Balgo for now because because it was actually his influence that bought Cinderella here. So I'm, th I'm guessing Bruno is thinking that, yeah, the like in the future as well, like, you know, he might be the actual person who brings other, like, you know, attracts other Marhans like this as well. And uh, because, like, you know, he came into contact with Macy, that's why uh, Cinderella came, uh, all that kind of thing. So that's why they're keeping him, you know, like they've taken off that bounty off of his head and they're going to. <laughs> leave him alone for the time being <clears throat> and their main goal is like defeating all the marhems and uh, now one thing that is kind of i kind of felt it in this episode is that um cinderella was actually acting like that like not attacking them when her eyes was red and when it turned blue she actually calmed down and sat down now but nothing else could be understood after that because basically the, the, the guy banks jr i think that was his name you know, he shot cinderella and defeated him uh, like, and defeated her in one shot 
and uh, like who knows maybe you know maybe it really did calm down like uh, nini said something like uh, uh, nini or was it noel said something like they won't actually listen you know they are like this and they're definitely going to harm you but who knows maybe cinderella would have calmed down actually uh, it kind of sat down with it's when its eyes went blue again and I, I remember that you know when its eyes was blue before it basically was like you know cinderella was actually trying to attack them but before that uh no, no sorry but after that uh oh no sorry uh, like mistake um uh, when her eyes was blue she was not attacking them and when suddenly the eyes turned red it started attacking them and like you know destroying the city and all so i'm not sure what that was why it's eye change i'm not even sure but you know maybe there is something else that was going on on at that moment and we still don't know anything much about her not only her all the marhans as well maybe they can really be tamed i'm not sure yeah okay all right is there anything else okay so the thing about um bruno here is now one thing that i can kind of appreciate about him is that he's extremely honest you know like he just says that yeah i want this for this like you know i want uh, fame i want recognition that's why and that's one thing that i can appreciate about him but you know kind of manipulating the whole, whole scene to actually do that is kind of bad in my opinion like as he tried to do in the beginning like you know the kind of like you know baited them basically you know used uh, macy <clears throat> to actually you know m make that whole situation and then decided to frame bruno with it all that stuff just so that they can you know, get like you know he can capture him so that's why like you know i, I really don't like him that much but who knows uh, there are a few characters in anime you know who kind of start in a very bad way like, you know like people usually hate him in the beginning but as time goes on they kind of get warmed up to that person and uh in the future like you know like that person also kind of changes so who knows maybe this like you know bruno guy is maybe he's that type of person i'm not sure but for now the for the initial impression nah he is really not that you know but in a way he's also kind of the person who uh you know asked to leave balgo alone for quite a while so but yeah that's just because like you know they want him to act as a bait for the other mud hens and all the other dragons so i don't know but yeah and uh, now the thing that uh nini said is very like you know uh, what can i say mm appropriate as she said something to macy that you're just like you know like what he ba she basically did before was she she never did anything for herself and before she said something like okay i did this because you were there nini you know and that's why i did my job i, I like you know i put up with it and then i found the dragon like, you know i thought the dragon will take me to a lot of places you know and then when i got to know that there's a reverse side i thought that yeah this is my time and i went like basically whatever that she was doing was as nini said you were just uh like you know what can i say like you were just under the influence of a magic spell and that magic spell could go away at any time that's why nini said that i, I hate hate magic uh like you know magical fairy tales because the spell usually goes around like you know goes out at like you know midway and the magic stops so why should you rely on that magic spell you yourself should be the one to cast that magic spell so what as, as she said like you know macy was basically the that person who was relying on that magic spell she was not the one who was casting that and i'm sure that's also the reason why she is a witch you know nini is a witch because she wants to be the person who casts that magic spell spell she doesn't want to be the person who is under the influence of the magic spell because if you're under the influence of the magic spell it can go away anytime and she does not like that that's why she hates fairy tales and like you know like she, that's why she's also a witch here 
and it's really like you know like kind of like a very important thing like she, basically what she's trying to say is like don't rely on stuff you know try to do it yourself something something like that and uh like, you know macy was basically relying on it you know kind of making excuses in a way and saying stuff like oh like you know like ellie is going to take me to places and all that kind of things so i'm sure like you know after this uh something must have changed within her and she'll probably try proactively to do stuff and uh, yeah that's that's it and that was a really solid advice you know not only in this situation in any kind of situation the thing that she said basically applies to everything so yeah okay one okay uh, another thing we saw here is that banks juniors i think that was his name so he's pretty op like <laughs> he looks like that kind of like you know scruffy guy with you know like <laughs> uh, like you know untidy clothes and like you know kind of like a chill person <laughs> and then like you know he, he just one shots the cinderella and bam wow so <laughs> oh my god that was something mm, he seems like a nice guy in a way you know but yeah so okay and then okay and then in the end uh the whole scene with noel i kind of noticed this before one thing um okay just a sec let me just check that portion out again just a sec all right um <laughs> okay one thing I'm, I'm still confused is about osushi chan what what type of thing is that i mean it talks and <laughs> the ending was hilarious in a way where like you know like basically osushi is just like show me your pet <laughs> and and grows wings starts talking in, in a weird way like that was also happening in the first episode and then <coughs> Noel starts chasing them and shoots them and she says that please wait Valgo I'm going to shut Osushi up forever <laughs> okay um but anyways okay like you know this this is thing about Osushi I think I'm not sure what it is about but because it's basically three episodes we have barely any information I'm sure the in manga I, I think this has a manga or is it a light novel I'm sure the manga or the light novel explains this a lot in a, uh, what do you call it, in a, in a better way or something, as a better explanation. But anyways, yeah, and, um, okay, yeah, one thing I kind of, as I said, I, I kind of noticed that even though Noel kind of like, you know, <laughs> seems kind of, uh, like, you know, tired of, like, you know, um, Bal Balgo's antics and everything, kind of saw that she really does care about him in a way because all the time like, you know i never did see like you know anything that made like you know usually in these type of things shows not shows but in, in these type of like you know situations where there's like this one person who is like so obsessed with a character and kind of tries to like you know like interact with that person you know like mm, and like you know hits on her and all that kind of things uh that type of situation the other person like you know who that that person is hitting on usually kind of like you know rejects that person and like you know brutally and like this usually happens kind of like a comedy thing that goes on you know kind of like a running gag that usually happens but all this time one thing i noticed at out of all in all the three episodes even though like you know uh balgo was kind of like you know always kind of fussing about noel and even though noel was acting as if like you know yeah she really doesn't care and kind of like you know in a way i can have noticed that she never did reject him in any way you know like she let him uh what do you call it uh, uh ride her dragon like you know when even when like you know uh, <laughs> balgo was saying stuff like oh like i am like you know i'm 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 touching you like you know like all that like you know kind of making that kind of situation like you know pervy situation 
uh, and she, she said that okay you, you realize that I can throw you off here you know like in, even in that situation she really did not say much and like you know I'm not sure and then the next situation where they actually say that you know they're going to uh, kill Balgo uh, number one she kind of gets pissed off number two she actually shows concern when like you know Nini says that let's get out of here she says that uh, no Nini says that ask for reinforcements no one says that no like Balgo's life would be in danger then so that and the last scene where she actually goes and kind of like you know um, what do you call it kind of uh, puts her head on his chest and like uh, Balgo says that so something bad happened she's like you know and something good happened she's like yes and like you know who knows i was i think i was in the beginning i was under the impression that like you know this probably nothing's just like the same similar pattern where like, you know the guy tries to kind of you know uh like hits tries to hit on her and like you know kind of tries to gain affection points with her but the girl usually rejects her uh that person and the guy kind of goes back and forth back and forth it's like a comedic situation that type of thing i thought but maybe that's not actually it maybe there is really something i'm not sure but yeah this is just like a little three episodes anime so yeah so yeah i guess that was it that was burn the witch i'm not sure if they're going to do something in the future but uh yeah the animation was really nice it's clean animation and yeah this was definitely good and i really liked it so yeah who knows maybe we'll get something in the future and uh yeah it was nice it was a nice anime it had something you know stuff and yeah it's quite interesting the plot was also quite interesting so yeah i'm not sure if this has a manga if that's a ha it has a manga i'll probably check it out but uh, yeah that's basically it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the three episodes of burn the witch and yeah it was it was good it was great and um yeah hopefully they will make something in the future maybe some more you know episode or maybe they'll make an anime out of it i'm not sure but let's just wait for it so yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys okay um next week next week uh i'm going to do another anime movie reaction which will be Pakemono no Ko I've heard a lot of good things about this but I've never checked it out you know uh, I think uh, the, the English name is the boy and the beast or Pakemono no Ko so yeah next week I'm going to do that so that's basically it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week with another anime movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day